Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0. And today is day 35. So today we're going to start our training in the Reports applet, a section where you can track a ton of data from applets across command. We'll start off with the dashboard, focus in a little bit more on our database, and then over the next couple of days, continue to dive into reports and some of the additional metrics that we can track. But the reports applet is our bar graph here. It is the, what is that, the eighth one down. Let's click on reports bar graph icon. And we're gonna get taken into our first tab of five that we can see across the top here. It's basically just our database. And it focuses on how many records we have in total. And then the difference between how many contacts have come in and how many leads have come in. Now inside command, the difference here, one, you can mark a contact as a lead when you build it out. Two, if you're running any of the ad types that we just talked about over the last several days, including those Facebook ads, right? Those would all come in marked as a lead as well. So that would be the nuance or difference between your contacts and your leads. Something to also recognize, uh, Total records from what I have gathered also includes those that you may have potentially archived or deleted in the past. So something to just be aware of. This number may be a little bit different than the contacts we actually have. Uh, if we go into contacts right now, for example, I think we're going to have 13, right? But I use this account on a very regular basis for a lot of different training. And I upload contacts, then I delete out contacts, then I upload contacts. So just know that this is sort of the history of your database, not just your current view. Scrolling down database health, this does track your current contacts. And so it's gonna tell you what your overall database health score is. That's based upon nine different metrics, including phone number, email, address, name, tags, employment, and there's several others. I believe that we covered that back on that was way back at the beginning there, maybe day five, six, seven, you could go back and check those. It's one of those days as well. Um, but it also has the ability to compare. I know none of us realtors are competitive, but for the few of you that are, you could always click on compare. And then you're gonna see database health scores of your personal database and then compare to a specific group. You can also then track these six metrics down at the bottom versus the actual metrics of those. Either in your market center, in your state, all agents across the board there and then you can also track agents that are in a production bracket above you in your production bracket or in the absolute top so you can go through any one of those six filters and sort of compare your database health against their database health down here at the bottom we've got the database activity score so the legend basically breaks it down to a percentage of contacts that you have reached out to in the last 30 days then you've got 31 to 60, then you've got 61 to 90, and then you've got the percentage that you have reached out to 91 or more days. Right now, we only have one contact that we've actually reached out to when we did the testing of, I think that was email campaigns or smart plans perhaps. So you can see uh, this is not a good look for our database. We definitely wanna have a lot more green and a lot less yellow, orange, or red. You can also come in here and filter by the way in which you have your activities and you can track, so how many texts have you been sending out or when was the last time you reached out to them via text, via email, when's the last time you scheduled something, logged a call, scheduled a note, scheduled a meeting. So you can see the different filters inside of database activities, when those are being logged and how many you're being logged. Finally, at the top right here, we've got a last updated. So it's just gonna tell you, hey, this is the last time that we pulled in data for this update, just to kind of keep you on track if you just did a big import and it's not showing that it'll kind of tell you, hey, this is the last time we brought your data in. This is typically done every day. Uh, so you can kind of see when the last update was done. This was done just a couple of hours ago, or not even an hour ago. Finally, we've got the contact sources. So where are you bringing contacts in from your database? So you can sort of see phone import, door knocking, KW app site, landing page, open house, and then just a general import. So. Uh, these can be filled out when you're doing your import. Obviously, some of these are triggered by activities. So landing page or app site, uh, phone import, those are all going to be tracked by you actually bringing that contact in 
to your database from that specific lead source, or you can add the lead source into the contact record itself. Uh, we can go into cities. So if we were tracking where those contacts are from, I think that's this is always interesting just to kind of see, hey, I've got a lot of people in my database that are from Springfield, right? Think about it, these are our fake contacts, but I think we have Marge Simpson, Homer Simpson, and maybe even Bart, I can't remember, but at least a couple of them or several of them from Springfield. And then you've got some other cities represented as well. And then they're sort of colorful on this. And then if you've really been focused on bringing contacts into your world, how many did I bring in today? Well, it looks like none. How many did I bring in yesterday, this week? It's been a while since we've done anything with our contacts. So we probably need to go all the way back to, I'm guessing last month. Let's see what comes up. There we go. There was some activity that we had last month. And then if we do again the whole year, there's all of that data about our imports and our contact sources for the entire year. So that's it for today. We'll dive into the reports, goals, email, and text calls, those tabs here in the future. Uh, but today, just a very brief introduction to the reports applet and the heavy focus within at least the dashboard on your database and those things that you can specifically track there. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.